The ways in which activities are presented can affect a person's ability to engage. By knowing a person, you can decide how to present or modify activities to better support them. You saw me and now it's your turn, okay? Pan będzie teraz to robił. Proszę niech pan usiądzie. Teraz to nie, nie, nie. Pani Adamie, tą rączką. I to. That's the way. Yeah, very well, very well, very well. Very well. <laughs> There are some important things to consider when presenting activities. For example, remove any distractions including clutter and unnecessary noise from the immediate area. Have all the required items in one place and close at hand. Where possible, establish boundaries for the activity. Invite the person to join in the activity. Would you like to help me? Break tasks into smaller steps. Use a template if required. Demonstrate how to do the activity. Look at me, look at me. Yes. Look at me. Uh, roll on this. Okay. Yeah. Give the person something to hold. Thank the person for their help. Ask if they enjoyed it and if they would like to do it again sometime. Thanks, Clyde. Some people worry about us using the sharp knives in the kitchen, but it's, we think it's just part of everyday life yeah. and everybody has used the sharp knives in their own kitchen at home. In the beginning of the project we were a bit concerned about some of our issues with food handling, infection control, falls, um, but we've been able to alleviate that by following all regulations. Everybody washes their hands before they help out in the kitchen and then puts a pair of gloves on. Explaining to the staff that every day is a risk in life um, when we get out of bed, when we cross the road and that is no different for our clients and of course minimising those risks. So we look at the areas here, we have rails and all that sort of thing. So we encourage the staff to look at it like that, that every day is a risk for everybody and took some doing <laughs> and um, the change has been incredible. Um, even you see people here dancing now with walking sticks and touching their toes. <laughs> Six months ago that never would have happened, not in a million years. <laughs> When presenting activities, it's important to provide choices so people can independently select the activity they prefer. Different activities can be offered at the same time. Inviting a person to engage in activities and thanking them afterwards supports choice and independence. People with dementia can engage in activities in different ways and at different levels. Activity stations offer opportunities for people to independently engage in activities. What challenges might you experience supporting a person living with dementia to maintain interest in a shared activity? How might you respond? Provide an example of a task or activity you can break down into smaller steps. How might you present activities in a way that encourages choice and autonomy for a person living with dementia? What are examples of activity stations you might create within your home or social group? Throughout this video, you've learned that engagement in purposeful and meaningful activity is important to all of us. And this doesn't change when a person is diagnosed with dementia. Participating in meaningful activities helps us to feel good about ourselves supports well-being and independence and gives purpose to our lives. Now our clients come and they come because they've, they feel like they're involved, their independence has increased, um, they feel like they have a role to play here, they feel like they're part of a community, organisation, um, friendship has been huge uh, and, and watching people blossom being given independence, being allowed, for want of a better word, to, to try new things, to try things that might be perceived as dangerous. You've also learnt that when the person with dementia, their carers and staff work together, they will discover many ways to support engagement at home and in social groups. Each person living with dementia is unique. 
as we get to know and understand each person behind the dementia. Together, we can create opportunities for engagement that encourage feelings of achievement and self-worth, support connections with others, and give purpose to everyday life. One thing I've learned from Mentis Sori that will always stay with me and actually encourage me constantly day to day to keep going is the fact they may not remember what they did but they remember the feeling behind it. And that's really, really important for us carers to maintain that, to keep us going and encourage us to keep going. So it's, I've been very privileged actually to be part of the training and we hope we could maintain it and for others to give it a go.